I loved what you did. My name's Steph, I'm 21 and I'm from London. So I definitely have music in my blood. I've just grown up with it really. I was just constantly singing music everywhere, anywhere, all the time. <laughs> I moved out when I was about 16 to try and pursue the whole acting stuff. It was a real shock to the system, like suddenly having to buy your own toilet roll, you know what I mean? <laughs> so it was just really hard. Steph, she opened my eyes to the most crazy parties. It was brilliant. We go out quite a lot. <laughs> I shouldn't admit that. I currently work in a bar, trying to pay the rent and just trying to survive, really. But I don't really want to be pulling pints for the rest of my life. I want to be on the stage. It's where they all want to be. Singing first, our youngest auntie in the competition, it's Steph. This savvy Londoner is performing the Michael Jackson classic, I Just Can't Stop Loving You. So I call your name Whistles at morning Our love is dawning Heaven's glad you came You know how I feel This thing can't go wrong I'm so proud to say I love you Your love's got me high I long to get by Just 16, which is the same age Judy Garland was when she made the movie. I mean, do you think that gives you an edge over the other girls? Um, I am 16. I don't think I have an edge. The only thing I can do is buy lottery tickets, so that's about it. But, um, <laughs> no, I think I just feel a bit like Dorothy at the moment, to be honest, because I'm still in college and I just want to get out, and I'm having such an amazing time in this competition that I don't really want it to end. So. Now, Steph, a lot of the girls are young. They've never lived away from home. You, 21. I mean, really. So, uh, so back at the house, are the older girls helping the younger girls? Yeah, of course. Um, me, along with a couple of the others, have to be mummy <laughs> and try and tell the girls how to use a dishwasher and a washing machine. <laughs> Of course, Steph tried to cook a frozen chicken the other day, and uh, yeah, so don't, idea, don't yeah. eat any of Steph's cooking. <laughs> Whoa, you shouldn't have said anything. It'd be nine of you left. <laughs> uh, uh, let's go and see what the panel think. Uh, Charlotte, Charlotte, uh, two very different songs. How do they do vocally? I think, Danny, you struggled a bit with that one. I think your overall performance was good. I think the way your expression in the song was really good. You had a lot of good attitude about you. But it was a little bit sharp in the middle as well. It was just a little bit above the note. Um, but not bad, but, you know, could do better. Uh, Steph, brilliant. I just, I love the tone of your voice. You, that, that, that high note in the middle was a little bit shaky. But uh, I really, really want to see you back next week. Well, uh, Sheila, these are huge songs. Were you convinced by those performances? Yes, actually, I thought they both had a really good crack at it. I was very pleased with Danny because I think she's apt to think that the dimply smile is an advantage, and it's crept in at other times, but you managed to keep it at bay, and you did it strongly. I thought you could have been angrier, 
but the, um, the smile was hardly there, and I really enjoyed that. Don't try to please all the time. Steph, I mean, it's interesting, isn't it? Michael Jackson, talking about the OOO thing that I talked about earlier, here's a man who does yelps and yelps and all that, and they always come from his guts, absolutely. And I thought you did get the meaning of the song, but it could have had more colours. I knew you were in love, but there are lots of other things. There's amazement, there's fear, there's all sorts of things in that song that you could have bought. But I thought you both sang beautifully. All right. John, do you agree with the ladies? Steph, well, you can tell that you are a girl about town because you tip down those stairs effortlessly. <laughs> and I think that some of the girls have struggled in those heels tonight. So that's something you all need to work on, ladies. But I really enjoyed your performance. That big note in the middle, that was slightly pushed for me. You've got a lovely warm tone to your voice. I think less is more for you. Danny, I think you struggled a little bit with that. Be careful it doesn't get too presentational because when it gets presentational, it becomes a little stagey. And when it becomes stagey, you're losing the truth. And I think you're a better actress than that. All right, three panellists down, one lord to go. Uh, Andrew, what do well, you think? Well, I think we hit suddenly a very, very intriguing situation because I'm going to say, Steph, I think you are a fantastic singer, absolutely wonderful, but I think your instinct is really to the big power ballad. I think that's what you want to do. I think you want to riff, and I think you want to get in front of a big band or a big rock section and really show that wonderful voice that you've got. Now, I'm not sure that... The home for you, therefore, is The Wizard of Oz, for a very simple reason, that Dorothy has to stick to a very precise line, and a, a precise line of acting and innocence. Whereas, on the other hand, uh, Danny, um, I know the, your performance was very raw tonight, but I could see how it could develop more into Dorothy. Now, what I'm not saying, Steph, is that I don't think you're a great singer. I really am not saying that. Nor was I saying, Danny, that I thought you great, give, give, gave a great performance tonight, because I don't think you did. But I think we've got to think, and I think we've got to think, what actually is the Dorothy that we're looking for? And I don't want to have somebody come into the role who could be wonderful in something else, but couldn't quite deliver what we need. All right, that's what Andrew and the panel 